Hello everyone. Welcome to all in this lecture. In the first lecture, I have discussed what is the centroid, what is the center of gravity. I have discussed also the application of center of gravity. In the many cases, you have seen the there is a concept of center of gravity. In the previous lecture, I have discussed, or we can say in on the second lecture, I have discussed center of gravity for the plane figures. Now in this lecture, I will discuss center of gravity of solid bodies. Okay. So in this case, you can see this is the hemisphere. So first we have to write the formula in the, in the case of solid figures, how we can calculate or for the solid body, how we can calculate the central gravity. So what will be the formula? So when we are calculating the central gravity for the plane area, so in that case, we will use the integration of y dash dA divided by integration of dA. But in the case of when we are going to find the central gravity for the solid body, we have to write pi bar integration of y dash dV, integration of dV, where where dV is a very, very small wall. Okay, here it is the area. Okay, it is volume, dV. And similarly, we can write formula to calculate the x bar, integration of x dash dv divided by integration of dv. Okay, so we will use this formula to calculate this one, to calculate the center of gravity for the hemisphere. So what we have to do, suppose this radius of the uh, sphere or hemisphere, we can say capital R, so we'll take one small segment. So I'm taking here. Which is which is y distance from this axis. So I'm going to calculate. Suppose this is the x-axis, this particle from passing from the center. And you can see from this axis, that is y-axis. This hemisphere is symmetrical. So you can see on that center wide will be lie on this line, okay, in the y axis. So we have to calculate the center of gravity uh, from the x axis, that is, we have to calculate, suppose this is the y bar. So we have to calculate y bar. So we have uh, taken this segment. So what is the shape of segment? So this thickness will be in the y direction, it very small, that is dy, very small in this y direction. So see, this segment will be in circular section. Circular section, because this is the hemisphere and we, we are cutting parallel to this uh, x-axis from the, uh, at a wide distance from the x-axis. So it will become a circular. It will come like this, circular. And what is the area for the circle? That is pi into r square. And suppose this radius for this circle, but we have cut the segment, segment area for this segment that we have selected y distance from the x-axis, that is r, small r, small r. So what is the area? We can write, area we can write pi into r square. Okay, and what is the small volume dv? We can write d into thickness. What is the thickness? dy. So put the value of dA, that is pi r square into dy. Now, see, I'm drawing line from here, from, we can say origin also, from here. So what will be this? So this will be the radius of sphere. So if this radius is capital R, so this will be also capital R. This is R, so what will be this value? That is Y. So this is Y. 
So for, from the Pythagoras Prime, Pythagoras theorem, we can write R square equal to small r square plus y square. This is nothing but this is coming like this. This is r, this is small r, this is y, right? So we can write like this. From this equation, we can write r square is equal to capital R square minus y square. Okay, so now we can put r square here. Now we can get pi into capital R square minus small r square into dy. So that is dv. Just note it down. Okay. Now, what is the total volume of this sphere? So that is 4 pi r square by 3. So it is a hemisphere, half of the sphere. So we can write volume that is total a uh, volume of total uh, sphere that is 4 pi r q divided by 3. So this is hemisphere. So we can write half. So that will come to pi r q divided by 3. So now we have the v, we have the dv. Now proceed the, just write the, write the equation first. We are going to calculate y bar. So write the formula integration of y dash dv divided by integration of dv. So now put the value of dv and y dash will be here y. So whatever the we have selected the segment, the centroid of segment will be here and it is distance from the x axis that is y. So we can write y. What is dv? We have calculated already. So that is pi into r square minus y square into dy, right? So this is the dv. Now, here, integration and differentiation of v, so it will be canceled, we can write directly v. Volume of hemisphere. Now, here pi is a constant, so we can take outside of this integration. So pi will be outside. Integration of, just multiply y with this internal term. So it will come y square, y r square, capital R square into y minus y q dy. Now we can put the value of v, that is we have 2 pi capital R q divided by 3. Now we can do the pi pi would be cancelled, 3 can go as a nominator. So 3 by 2 pi capital R q, right. Now we can do the integration. So r square is constant. So that will be as it is. Now y integration of y that will be y square by 2. Here y q integration of y q it will be it will be y 4 divided by. Now what is the lower limit upper limit? So when this segment will be here, so y will be 0. When this segment will be here, so here y will become capital R because it is here means it is the radius. So here, here to here distance will be capital R. So we can write lower limit zero, upper limit that is capital R, right? How I am doing the integration? There is a formula. So integration of, I'm writing this formula, integration of y to the power n with respect to y, it will become y into the power one plus one divided by n plus one. So this is the formula I'm using. Okay, so you can remember this formula. C, put the value of R, capital R, then uh, lower limit and zero. So what will you get? Three divided by two, capital R Q into, I'm putting the value of capital R, so it will come R to the power four by multiplying divided by two minus 
r to the power 4 divided by 4 minus 0. So by simplifying, you can get 3 divided by 2 r q into r to the power 4 divided by 4. Okay, so what we are getting by simplifying r q r force, it will cancel, it will. So now we can write 3 divided by 8. So that is the y bar. So we got a y bar for hemisphere. The center wide is at a distance of 3 r by 8 from the center of a sphere, center of hemisphere, we can say. Now, only one thing you have to remember why where we are calculating in the case of plane figure y dash into dA, divide by integration of dA, right? So, in this case, we will use the, with respect to uh, dA, in this case, we will use dV, okay? Now, center of gravity for of right circular cone, right circular means this angle would be 90 degree. Suppose here uh, the, uh, the radius of circular base that is capital R, total height is H and center of gravity somewhere here. So we have to find, uh, suppose this axis, which X axis and this axis is Y axis, right? So we have to calculate this Y bar. Okay, so again, select a small volume, small segment. So I am calculating here. I am taking a segment again from a Y distance from the X axis. So width in this direction will be DV, small height of this segment. And you can see this segment is also in the circular shape, circular shape. So this segment will be also in circular shape, circular section we can say. Now we have to calculate DV, so that will be equal to D area into, or we can say area into DY. Okay, so what is the area of the circular section? Pi into R square. So I'm writing, I'm assuming that this is R dash. The radius of this circular section is R dash. So we can write pi R dash square. I'm again, I'm, I'm taking here capital R. So you can write directly a small r, okay? Capital uh, small r. You can write here pi into a small square into d y. Now, so this is the dv. So now from the symmetrical triangle, I'm writing here, this we have h, this is r, I have taken a this is radius is r, small r, a distance of y from the base. So from a symmetric triangle, we can write this triangle to the big one. So we can write r divided by here height, h. Similarly, for this small triangle, we can write small r divided by this height. So what will be this height? h minus y, because this distance is y. So we can write h minus y. So it will come H minus Y. So now from here we can write R is equal to, small r is equal to capital R into H minus Y divided by H. Right, so now R square, we put the value of R in this equation of dV. So what we can get? dV is equal to pi into R H minus Y to the divided by h square into dy. Finally, what we are getting, we are getting here pi r square divided by h square into, now h minus y ka whole square. 
to dy. So we know that a minus b to all square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab. We will leave this equation here. So we can write pi r square divided by small h square k into h square plus y square minus 2hy, 2hy into dy. So this is we have the dv. Okay, now what V we can write? Okay, V means volume of this. So volume of this right circular cone that is, we can write volume. We can write pi r square into h. One third of the cylindrical shape of this uh, height and uh, area of uh, uh, circular base. So this is the cylindrical, if the uh, its cylinder is made by this uh, radius and this height. So one by third of that area, that volume. So it will come V is equal to pi R square H divided by three. So now we have the V and we have the DV. Now we can go for the calculation. Now, so what we formula we have? We have this y bar is equal to integration of y dash dv divided by integration of dv. So what will be the y dash? So whatever the segment we have it, we have assumed. So center wide of that from the y axis, right? So in this figure, y dash is y. So we can write y dv, but we have the dv that is pi capital R square divided by H square into H square plus Y square minus two HY into DY. So this is the DV. Divide by integration and differentiation of this V, it will become V. That is volume of right circular cone. Now, whatever that uh, constant which is, which is inside this integration, we can take outside. So this pi r square h square is constant, so we can take outside. So pi r square divided by h square integration y into h square plus y square minus two hy to dy divided by volume. That is pi r square capital R square into h divided by three. So you can see pi will be cancelled. R square, R square will be cancelled. H that is in into. So this will become a Q. So now we can write three divided by H Q. Now do the integration. So see, I'm writing directly. So by multiplying H square into Y. So integration of Y will be Y square by two. So we can write H square Y square by See, by multiplying y to this, it will become y q. The integration of y q will be y to the power 4 divided by 4. Right? Right. Now, here is the minus. See, by multiplying y to this equation, it will become minus 2 h y square. So, integration of y square, it will be y q divided by 3. So we can write minus two H YQ divided by three. 
what is the lower limit when this segment will be here so here it will become y is equal to 0 when this segment will be here so in this case we can write y is equal to h this will be so from here to here so lower limit will be 0 upper limit will be h okay so now we can put this h and So now I'm going to put the value of upper limit minus lower limit, okay? So it will become three h q into, so by putting the, see in every expression y is there. So by putting the lower limit, it will become zero. So directly I'm writing, so it will become h square, putting the value of y is equal to h, it will become h into h square divided by two, plus h to the power four divided by four, minus 2h h q divided by 3. So you can write, you can take the LCM that is 12, 6h to the power 4 plus 3h to the power 4 minus 8h to the power 4. So what if it will come? 3 divided by h q into 1 h to the power 4 divided by 12. So it will cancel it. So it will become here h. So by simplifying, we can write 3 h divided by 4. Wait, wait, wait. Not 3. 3 will not come here. It will come directly C by cancellation, it will, it will get H by four. So in the first lecture, I also said like for the center of gravity of uh, for right circular cone, it will be H by four distance from the base. So now we have calculated and we get the, whatever we said earlier, that is correct. Pi bar is H by four, okay. In every calculation, Whenever we are going to calculate y bar for the solid body, so you have to see, you have to calculate two things. What is the volume? Okay, that is will come in denominator and what will be the dv? So whatever the segment we are, we are going to calculate or we are going to assume, so what will be the volume for that segment? So that is v, dv. So it will come area into dy. So by putting the value of area and dy, and we have to take in the, in this case, I have used the similar triangle uh, concept. In the previous, uh, when we are going to, when we are deriving this uh, center of gravity for the hemisphere, so in that case also, we have used the Pythagorean theorem. So that is, if the right angle triangle are there, Suppose this is r, this is smaller, this is y. So we can write r square is equal to y square plus. So by deriving the equation for the same hemisphere, we have used this equation. Similar triangle equation, similar triangle concept are very easy, you can say. So by making the same angle like this. So in this case, I would, this is capital R, this is total H. H. Suppose at this height, that is y, there is radius, that length is changed. So we can use r divided by h is equal to r divided by this, this height. So that is h minus y. So we can write h minus y. So we have the similar triangle equation uh, concept. And by, uh, uh, by doing the integration, you can get the y bar that is h by four. 
for this case means this will be here h by 4. Now, what is this figure? This is the a right circular cone is uh, placed on the hemisphere, on the top of hemisphere. Okay, so we can uh, we have to calculate the central gravity for this case. So I am taking the axis. Suppose this is the x-axis. This vertical one is y-axis. Just assume this is a horizontal. X axis is a horizontal. Okay. So, how we can calculate? In the case of area, what we are doing, we are writing, we have to calculate like y dash in this case, we have to calculate. So, in the case of area, in the case, case of plane figure, we are using this equation y1 a1 plus y2 a2 divided by a1 plus a2. Right. In the case of solid bodies, we have to, we can write y bar is equal to a1 into v1, y2 into v2 divided by v1 plus v2. So here, uh, here is the v1 is the, here v1 is the volume of first segment, whatever, first, whatever uh, we have calculated, like I'm writing for this uh, right circular cone, I'm writing one, for this hemisphere, I'm taking two. Okay, so V1 will be this volume, V2 will be this volume, right? Now, uh, you can see according to the y-axis, this uh, figure is uh, symmetric. So centroid will be somewhere here on this line, y-axis. So I'm writing the combined central gravity somewhere will be here. Okay, and I'm taking the assumption, okay? So I have to calculate Y bar. So for the composite figure, composite solid budget, what will be the centroid from the X axis? Okay, so we have to use this question. So for uh, before calculating this, I'm writing, suppose this H is 200 mm, it will be G, and this radius, that is, that is capital R, that is capital R is 100 mm. Okay, so now we can calculate uh, in this case where V1 is, V1 is the volume of right circular cone. It is the right circular cone. So you know the formula for pi R square H divided by three. Okay, we can write pi into R is 100, 100 square into H, that is 200 divided by three. Now, what is V2? V2 is the volume of hemisphere. So that is 2 pi r cube divided by 3, 2 into pi into r, that is 100 q divided by 3. It will come in uh, mm cube. It will also come volume in mm cube. Call all radius and height is in terms of mm. Right? Their data is in terms of mm. Okay. Now, come to the y1 and y2. See, we know for this, in the previous slide, we have uh, calculated that central gravity from the base that is here, it is h by two. Okay, that is 200 divided by four means 50 mm. So we have to calculate whatever the right circular cones, center of gravity of right circular cone from the x axis. So this distance is what is this? Will be, this will be the r because this is the radius. So this will be the r, it will become 100 mm. Okay. So total from this, this height to from the x axis, we can write y1. So YVN will become 100 mm plus 50 mm. It will come 150 mm. Now come to the Y2.
no come to the y2 so y2 is the center of gravity of semi uh, for the hemisphere distance of center of gravity from the hemisphere to the x axis so in the previous slide we have in the first slide in the second slide we have calculated that this distance from the cent uh, centroid from the base that is 3r by 8 3 r by 8. 3 into r that is 100 divided by 8 okay now so we have to calculate from this centroid to the x axis so total is capital r that is radius so it will come capital r minus 3 into 100 divided by 8 it means 100 minus 3 into 100 divided by 8 by calculating you will get 62.5 mm 62.5 mm so now we have uh, so we have this uh, y1 that is 150 mm we have v1 that is 094395 point one zero two mm q we have y2 that is 62.5 mm v2 uh, 2094395 point you can calculate also i have a calculator so writing directly now apply the formula y1 v1 y2 v2 divided by v1 plus v2 put the all value of y1 y2 v1 v2 we will get 106.25 mm 106.25 mm so whenever you are going to calculate for composite section of solid body for the composite section so use this formula composite section for solid body where y1 is the central distance of center right from the whatever the reference axis and v1 is the volume of first segment and y2 is the distance of center right from the reference axis for the second segment, V2 is the volume of for the second segment. So you can use this formula. And you will get Y bar is equal to 106.25. Okay. These are the reference that I've taken to make this lecture. Thank you. In this next lecture, I will also discuss the central, center, uh, centroid and center of gravity. Thank you, everyone.